Hi there everyone. Okay, so today I'm making a tutorial on flash ambient blending with a uh, Kaotic Reloaded uh, beta. Um, let's grab some images. Okay, so let's stack our layers. So I've stacked my layers. Now I'm going to make sure that my ambient is at the top. Okay, so my ambient my ambient is at the top and I'm selected on the ambient and then I'm going to click on in Expo Blend Tools, click on Flash Ambient. Wait, let me just change my settings back to default. Make sure it's on default. There we go. Okay, so make sure that you're selected on the ambient layer at the top before you click your Flash Ambient button. So let's run this. And now we have our blend. Okay, so let's see what do we have here. Um, so our ambient luminosity layer is to blend your, your ambient detail with your flash detail. So if you want more ambient detail on certain areas, then you would brush with white. Then you would brush with white, get some more ambient detail in there. Or you can play with your density. If you double click on the mask, then just play with your density. It doesn't matter about the window detail here because we do have a darken layer that we can use to bring back that window detail. So just get your blend how you want it. So if you maybe like say 30 density and let's just take that back up. Let's first get a feather maybe like 30 feather 30 and now play with our density maybe let's make it 50 so now we've customized our mask to how we want it to blend um, ambient color so let's look at this layer here um, if I turn this layer off then you'll see that the image gets too cold that's because of the flash being too cold on certain areas. So that is why this layer is here to try and fix up those cold areas. So if I only use this um, layer though, with, without blending it, if I just use the layer like that, then it's going to have too much ambient color in there. So that's the reason why you have this layer, just to blend some ambient uh, color in on, on to fix those cold areas. Um, so you can decide if you want this to be off by default with the settings. So let's look for layer opacity. So if you play with this, maybe you can get yourself a decent uh, opacity that you want this layer to be when you blend. So ambient color layer, ambient color layer and opacity maybe like 60. Let's say you want it on 60. I would leave it on 100 though, but just to show you how the how the settings work let's make that 60 um, ambient luminosity I think this we'll just leave we'll just leave that at 100 um, let's go to our feather so we have 30 feather and 50 density so our ambient luminosity feather is 30 so here we go, our ambient luminosity feather should be 30. And then um, our density, let me just check this feather here. So we're not doing anything with this feather. We can skip this one here. Let's go to our density. So the density of this mask, ambient luminosity mask is 50. So ambient luminosity mask is 50. And this one, the opacity is 60. I think we already did that. Yeah, that's 60. And I think that's about it. So now we've customized our flash ambient settings to how we want it to be. We can close and save. So if you want your options to save, then just click the X. So now we can just go back to the top and just do the blend again. So we are on our ambient layer and we click flash ambient 
So now this blend here is customized to how we set it in our options 50, 30 and 60 opacity and we can just use our darken layer here to bring in some more window detail because of our density that we took down or oh, what do we do? yeah we took it down so now we just need to restore some window detail okay and then we can I think we can we can, I think we can flatten from here so snap flatten um, if you don't know what snap, uh, snap flatten is if you're new to Kyotech then snap flatten is basically saving your layers in a snapshot so I, yeah, I have my layers again so it's flattening but before it flattens it takes a snapshot and you can maybe just name this whatever maybe flash ambient and you can go back to the snap flatten history okay so then I would go to my favorites and just auto straighten that and then save maybe we can do restore shadows as well just to show you what it does Resource shadows, so it's set to 50. Maybe we can brush a bit, um, just bring back some of the detail on the on the wood, on the laminated flooring. Just bring back some detail there. We're just brushing with black on this mask here. Now let's see. Okay, that's cool. Snap flatten let's see what auto lumen does okay it didn't do much the auto lumen will try and do a brightness and contrast if it f um, finds that the image is a bit too easy let me see if I can just um, demonstrate that let's try and make this image a bit more flat okay which way is flat now something like that I think okay and then auto lumen yeah so it tries to fix your brightness and contrast automatically okay let me delete that um, let's go and do another image let me close this so I think one more image maybe this one here okay so we're going to stack and where is my ambient my ambient at the bottom I'm gonna move it to the top and then I am selected on it now I'm going to click flash ambient and that's the blend that we set it to so I'll customize blend and then click on darken layer and bring in some window detail so just swapping it to white X on your keyboard and then we can just brush uh, some detail in there okay and yeah and that looks fine um, I think we can flatten this straighten let's just check it okay that's fine um, your, your um, favorites can now be reordered you can reorganize it now so just click these arrows this is the we wanted to make it like drag but that didn't work so next best thing was using these arrows okay so I'm just gonna close and save that you wanna click this to save your your favorites after you've changed the order or added any favorites um, to add favorites you can just go to the feature that you want and then click on the pin here this little pin click on that and then you can just click on magic merge flash ambient align crop and then to get out of this mode you just click it again and let's check our favorites and that would be at the bottom okay so there we go we have magic merge flash ambient align crop I think I'll move this around something like that and save close and save this image 
and yeah um, so that's basically how you can uh, manipulate your settings to have a customized blend I hope this tutorial helped you guys till next time bye